What is up guys? Ashley and Joe Reacts here and welcome to a very unique video. Today it is the London Derby that is Fulham versus Hello. Chelsea. Obviously some of you know Fulham is my local team. Repping them today, Caleb's with me here. All right, we're heading down to Craven Cottage itself to watch New the River game. Stand. New River Stand. It's going to be huge. We're joined by Caleb's dad, which is fine. That's right there. All right, it's going to be a huge Full one. Full massive, on the loose. <laughs> All right. We'll see how it goes, guys. I'm going to go for a very bold 3-1 Fulham win. I think we're going to get third on a counter, 90th minute, just to seal the game. We've got Solomon coming off the bench. We've got Wilson coming off the bench. I see us winning this one. Yeah. They're up for grabs. They're up for the table. I, I think it's going to be a, a 3-1 Fulham win. And I'm going to call it Man of Solomon assist or goal. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And but I've got to be declared over recall. I see Xiao Felix scoring for them today. This is debut. Yes. He's starting. Right, you would only start a star player so soon if he's that good. Yes, he needs to yeah. do something to him. He must have done something in training to yeah, show that he's I'm, I'm worried about him today. We'll see how it goes, guys. I don't know. Polina could wipe him out. Polina for the win. Come on, Fulham. Come on, Fulham. Come on, Fulham. Oh, Felix is through. Oh, what a block. Hey. No. Yeah. What a save. Okay. Felix looks dangerous there. Steal for them. What? What? 
actually. Why is he inside? Attacks and set pieces, that's all we need to watch out for. But there's, there's, that's what they're going for, they're just nicking the counter attack here and there. We've got Jao Felix, who's good on the ball, who's taking the ball forward into that final. Yeah, it's cooking. That's the liquid right now. Whoa! It was not Both Bobby, their wing backs have been shit. In that first chance where Bobby hit the post, their wing was so close. Yeah. Marking no one. We need to play it. Look, he's got so much space. One ball over the top. Kula Bali isn't going to catch it. Play the ball. Hit it again. Oh, oh, strong down the shit. middle. We have to go wide. Shit. 
Turn, turn. Good, good. Ah, uh, shoulder, shoulder. Pepper's very autistic. I've noticed this. Come on. What are you doing? Is he covering one nipple and his balls? Oh, ball! Should have played in there. Oh, He's just so much. Watching better. Mount live makes me realise how overhyped he is. No, that was going to happen. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> He's still on the floor. This is fair. That was stuck up, like to try and get the ball. It's not a ref. I don't think the ref had a clear view. No. No. Nah, it's fine. Hey, it's a Bamian. It's a Bamian hoop. It's Polinia. I know it's Polinia. If he comes off, we're losing this. Shake it off. Wait. What a hero. What a hero. There goes my hero. Because their fullback does not seem we've to have any. We've all here. We've not marked to throw in. Mount's got it up free and just flicks it on. Well, when we got the ball back, like before the throw in, we're attacking another wing and there was space for wing. <laughs> because as the player tucked in, yeah. there's space on the wing. Shit. Shit. Go, go. We need someone up there, at least one player. Look at him go! No, no, what have you done? What a save! What is Tosin doing there? Turn and go! Nice, no, get rid, just get rid. Oh. Oh! What is Tosin doing there? Just get rid of it. Who's it? Fucking who? Honestly, come down to speed. Just fucking. Just who's it, man? Oh, great ball. Oh, will you stop falling like a bamboo your eyes? He's fucking shit, man. Bobby, he should just go offside here. They're not reading it, they're not seeing it. Bring it down. Ref! 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 Jesus Christ, what do you need to do? Ref! Well, if I do that on a night out, it's like so. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Great ball, go! William, get inside. Oh, oh, fucking hell. hell. Yes! Go on, Tony. That's it. One more, one more, one more. One more. Oh. Rev! Oh. Rev, that's it. Whoa! Oh. oh my god, Kepa is so shit, guys. This boy is so shit. Bobby, get up. We need to. Yeah. How has he parried that? Caleb. How is he carrying that? 
took, he took too long to say that. He went, he went to make a dive and realised it was just a little bit further than he thought. So he doesn't dive. He is shocking. Fucking he is shocking. shocking. Oh, Shout Felix, man. Jao Felix is right Three. now a Lamborghini in the council state. Yeah, I mean, Chelsea's on. Right, guys. Don't mind the audio, we're going to be nice and loud. Half time, 1 0. We both predicted that they're going to take it. That half was so much of a match. Both of them. Willian, Kane, 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 Vinicius has surprised me so yeah. much. He's literally filled Mitrovic's shoes just perfectly. Like you can't ask any more than him apart from a goal, which you can no. get in the next half. Well, he's looking threatening. I mean, the main thing he's doing really well, which is what Mitrovic does so well, is he's holding up the play, he's yeah. taking the ball down, he's occupying the defenders, and he's looking like a fucking nuisance. Yeah, exactly. He's all over the defence, yeah. and they don't want anything of it. No, no, they exactly. want none of it. And I think Bobby's been having an absolute great game. Yeah. There was one time where Bobby was free, um, sort of along the line of the six of the penalty spot, within the box, and Vinicius just took a half a second, I say, too long. And he took a shot and it hit the post. Yeah. But Bobby's open all half. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that's because Chelsea, for some reason, their back three is really narrow. Yeah. And also the, the wing backs are really narrow. The wing backs are playing more. It's so weird. The wing backs are the biggest weakness right now. I won't be surprised if I make any changes because the only threats for them have been Havertz and Phoenix. And I'm saying that to like compliment Havertz. It's been all Phoenix. All Phoenix. I think that even though Chelsea have bought Phoenix as an attacker, they still lack a striker. Yeah. They don't have a striker because Felix is dribbling forward to no one. He's, he's receiving the ball at the edge of the, of the final third, dribbling into some great places, putting a great ball in, and they don't have a Mitrovic. Yeah. They don't have yeah. a Mitrovic. They don't even have anyone. They have no one. They have no one. There's no passion. There's no vision. If you really think about it, right? They have got Lukaku out on loan. Someone who's at least going to be Champions League level. And he's going to be in the box. That's a problem. There's no one in the box. Well, I don't understand what's going on with Chelsea. But we'll see how the second half goes. That guy is What fine. the fuck? Oh my god. That's gone. Shit. Fucking hell. What a free kick by Mal. Yeah. Come on, Fulham. Fucking wake up. What a free kick by Mal. That football there by Chelsea. They're getting better at passing the ball. They are. They're, they're calm down, not far. Can they sustain it? We're not pressing it's been it. Five minutes of Chelsea ball. Possible. No, 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 no. It has been. It has been a fucking match. Oh come on, Thiago! I expect better from him. They're gonna counter now. Shit. Oh, Felix. Good communication. He's off. Oh, 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 no, no. I'm aware of him there. Oh, no. Oh, Cold, mighty ball to the face, pretty much. 
Even though they turn back down, we need to still be worried. Alison Reed coming off. Brilliant performance. And Bobby. And Bobby to play the Reed end. and Bobby. Both the Reeds are coming off. Great Boy. performance on both. <laughs> Chelsea fans. He he's deserves still, it. He's still got it. Yes! 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 Catch it, catch it. Yes! Yes! <laughs> the same person really. He's on shout right wing. I told you to shout right wing. A white man in the Fulham Stadium shouts in right wing. <laughs> we might not make it out tonight. <laughs> switch it, switch it, switch it, switch it, switch it. Early, 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 early. Good, good. Solomon's on the ball. Solomon's on the ball. Oh, no, Solomon's go, 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 on the ball. Go. Look at that pass. <laughs> now let's really analyse that pass. Boarding at Payton. And Marco Silva is livid. Yeah. Livid. Go on. Solomon's in the box. Come on. Go on, Harry. Whip it in again. Whip it in again. Come on. Oh, ball. Oh. So guys, what a game. We have just got out the stadium, hopped in our car, driving back. I still can't like fathom that like a championship team who many people view as like a yo-yo club last year is gone and beaten Champions League winners from two seasons ago, Chelsea. They're in absolute shambles, but you have to give credit where credit is due. Today, Fulham were outstanding. Apart from a shoddy start to the second half, you could not fault any single player on that pitch today. Leno, some great stops. All the way up to the front room for Vinicius, just doing incredible things up front. Philly in Mitro's boots. Honestly, 
I, I'm, oh, the only thing I'm unhappy about is my prediction on country. I was one goal off. And if the ref gave us that penalty in the first half, I would have been bang on my prediction. Caleb? I, th I actually... I, I think I lost my voice about 20 minutes in, <laughs> if I'm honest. So, it was by far is one of the best film performances I've seen not because of the result but because of how they played as a team like yeah. the, the fact that we didn't have Mitchell could have really affected the team like everyone could have dropped their heads the service could have done like nothing but like actually as a team they came together so well like they put so much effort in and I think I mean shout out to, to, to Bobby Bobby yeah. played amazing um, William had a game of his life Andreas Pereira oh untouchable but my biggest shout out, and I would personally say, my man of match, Carlos Vinicius. Yeah. Carlos Vinicius, definitely. The striker mm. had such a good game, such a good game, because he had such low expectation of himself. Everyone was like, like from the podcast I listened to, everyone's thinking, oh, you know, it would have been nice to have Mitro, it would have been nice to have Mitrovic up front. But it did not matter did, at did, all. Did. Didn't yeah. matter at all. Yeah. Everyone came together, and Vinicius put an absolute shift in. I mean, people are seeing and thinking, you know, do we get a strike replacement for Mitra? I, we don't need to. We just don't need to. He did so well. Like, you cannot fill the boots for Mitra better than holding defenders back and winning the ball, bringing the ball down, playing some great passes, and getting a goal off of an impeccable yeah. pinpoint cross yeah. from Andreas Pereira. You, you just cannot top that. And he, yeah. you know what? If he doesn't get man the match, I'd be interested who could. I think my man of the match, maybe more like to get it than him because he's more known in starting eleven as well. I think Pereira just across the ninety minutes, he was just the ticking heartbeat of the team. Like went to press, he initiated it, and in terms of that that, that second goal was all him. Yeah. Like as great as it was for Vinicius to get on the end of it, but the whip on that, right? Oh, Whereas was everyone was just passing it sideways and just going about the pace because Chelsea were 10 men down. Some Fulham players looked all right to go back home with a draw. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Whereas he just got the ball, whipped it in, and fair play, got on the three points with Vinicius. I think either of them were fantastic today. William in the first half was the best player oh, on the pitch. Outside. I, I do think it's important though, like, obviously it's the highs of winning, but it's important to reflect. And I do think Tosin didn't have the best game. I think he had a few mistakes which really could have cost us. Yeah. And I think as a team, sometimes we look like, especially fresh out of the half, you're one up against Chelsea, looking like you might actually get the first win against Chelsea. Yeah. I think after a year, I think it might be wrong, but it might be after eight years, they've come out of the blocks and they're asleep. And it's 1 1 from a great mount free kick. And yeah. I think a flick on from Kula Bali. But like, you just have to stay switched on. That goes from goalkeeper through to the striker especially when it's just after half time because yeah. Graham Potter he's in a hot seat and he's struggling but he's got that role for a reason he is a top quality manager Yeah. and any manager that gets a hold of the team and reflects on the half and gives them pointers on how to improve I think if Felix didn't get his red card they would have it would have been a draw game. or a win yeah. for Chelsea more yeah. likely and that's down to Potter's well, that's a, brain and that's Fulham another, needs to stay switched on when that happens. That's another talking point. Felix, fantastic in the first half. I mean, oh, I'm, best, I'm player, player, best player for Absolutely Chelsea. Young. Best player on the pitch, I would have said. Yeah. When he got on the ball and he took into the final third and he was moving the ball around, moving around players, he could not be touched. And then I don't know what he was he's thinking. He just lost his head. Um, but, you know, you can't let that cloud him. He's, he's a top signing. I know a lot of fans during the game was saying, you know, waste of money, this, this, that. He's... He'll come through. He'll come through. He'll come through. Whatever the price tag is, he, he looks I mean, like that's what they need. I mean, what, he must have flown in, what? I want to say Monday. 48 hours ago, yeah, basically. Mon Monday, Tuesday, he's flown in. I mean, he's flown in from Spain. Not a huge delay in time, but... That barely knows quick, the system. Barely, barely, barely system, yeah, just his nothing. Teammates. But the fact that he barely knew his teammates and the system and the coach and everyone around him, he played so well yeah. he, he literally was the biggest threat Kai Havertz needs to do something or they need yeah. to get rid of him and also if they're going to Chelsea I mean as much as like I want to say and I've credited Graham Potter for getting a job in the first place but he really needs to think about the way he sets his team up because today their biggest weaknesses were their wing backs yes. maybe not play with wing backs maybe go along with a typical back four right and rather play your wingers 
Hakim Ziyech, maybe trust him as a right winger. You've got your left side sorted, in my opinion, like in the, in the sense of like you've got a few wingers you can employ yeah. there. And you could probably put Jao Felix on the left. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I think Felix, watching him play, what he needed was to play that 10 role because Mount was not performing. In my opinion, Mount yeah, was performing. Apart from that free kick, Felix, nothing. Felix is a 10 with a striker in front of him. That's threatening. I don't know who that striker yeah. would be. I don't know who is available that they could go for. They just need someone that can put the ball in the net in front of Felix who he can dribble towards play the ball to but I think another talking point another concern for Chelsea uh, Zakaria going off injured uh, is not yeah. not good at all and I then, don't know if he again, went they off look, they look better of Jorginho on the pitch they did but it's another injury to add to the list yeah they've just got too many they, they so need to many stop injuries. firing physios and sports scientists they had the most staff on the pitch and they still yeah. can't they can't get fit but anyways guys look Forget Chelsea, Fulham. Up we've the up, we've done it up the whites, right? We push on. How many points are we on now? I believe thirty-one. Thirty-one points, right? Can oh. we get European football? I actually think we can. I think we. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I don't want to speak too soon. I would accept the Conference League happily. Yes. More than happily. Without a doubt, mate. Without a doubt, but and that's something we'll take seriously. The one seriously thing, the one thing I'm concerned about it's been too quiet in Jan for January. Too quiet, too too quiet. Because Tete took a real rough tackle from from Felix, which caused yeah. him a card. And Tete gets injured, and if he's injured, we bring Bobby back to right back. And Bobby was a <coughs> class up. <coughs> oh yeah, he, he so went under the radar. We need right. a right back. We need another holding midfielder because Reed took a knock as well, and so did Polinia. And those two players, if they go down, yeah. we're thin. So there's we need a, another there's a big worry of a couple injuries taking place. Yeah, we need and another team midfielder. Just falling off. Another midfielder, another right back in this transfer yeah. window. Or we actually, I don't think we will get Europe. I just don't. I think we'll slip off. There's injuries. Polino got a yellow card. Tete, I think, got a yellow card. Leno got a yellow Leno card. Leno got a yellow card. Yeah. And we already saw when Polino got suspended, we put Chalabar on and he got red card. Yeah, the team just, yeah. So we need to get another midfielder ASAP. Yeah. And we need another right back as quick as that too. Yeah, but anyways, guys, we'll stick on it today. What a game. Thank you guys for joining us on this live reaction, on this vlog. It's been a very enjoyable game. I've been Ash from AJ Reacts. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. If you have any thoughts, comments, leave them in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Join the AJ family. If you think any of your friends or family would enjoy our channel, Please share it with your friends and family. Follow us on our socials and our personal socials as well. Love you all. Take care. See